Hello everybody, what's going on? My name is Heen, and today we're making a World of Warcraft video. And I haven't made a World of Warcraft video on the channel before, but I'm going to probably start doing so, maybe a little bit. I haven't been really up to date on video stuff, but here I am. So, we're making a video talking about the new leveling in 7.3.5 and how to prepare for it now. So, uh, what's going to happen in 7.3.5 is the old world and the old expansions are going to start scaling. And what this means is we're going to have um, we're going to have a need for I guess stronger gear as we level up. And as of the recording of this uh, in the PTR, they have decided to actually nerf uh, the heirloom gear a little bit. Uh, the experience boosts from them are still there. The stats that they have are just a little bit lower. So that's okay. Uh, they're still definitely usable. Um, but in order to optimize what we're doing here when we level up our characters uh, I've acquired a list of all the enchantments that you'll be able to apply to your gear and all of these can be applied right away just as you make a level one character now some of these enchantments uh, will scale actually in fact all of them will scale up to the top of their respective expansion of where they're from and then from that point they'll just stay at whatever level they are if not I think they do stop working some of them not 100% sure yet but I have acquired a list of all the best enchantments for each heirloom piece slot. So the gear slots we will not be covering include bracers, gloves, belts, boots, uh, and if there are trinkets, which I don't think there are, and one of them, but you'll see in a bit. So take a look at our list here. We have the first slot, which is helmet, which is one I want to go over first because there are no enchantments for this slot. So uh, don't panic if you don't find one at all, because there isn't one. Uh, there used to be in the old World of Warcraft, but in today's World of Warcraft, there are no more helmet enchantments from any profession. So just ignore this one altogether. Um, I don't think there's any even from engineering, which is the one I expected it to be from, but alas, it is what it is. So moving on, we go right into the neck enchantment, and you'll see for all three, Intellect, Agility, and Strength, I have chosen Gift of Versatility. Uh, Gift of Versatility is a pretty easy enchant to make. Um, so we'll go over here, we'll go to Draenor enchanting, and we go to Neck for Gift of Versatility. And why this is important is, I'll show you in a second, you, know, you, might, you might be asking, you know, why would you use a enchantment from Warlords of Draenor when you could use an enchantment from Legion? So take a look at like uh, Mark of the Versatile, you'll see permanently enchants a necklace to increase versatility by two. Okay. Whereas, and that's on a level 25 character, where um, gift of versatility is giving 17 versatility, and as you can see, even breath, breath is less, gift is 17, and this is correct. These will scale as you level up. The Draenor enchantment scale from 0 to 100, and at level 100, gift of versatility is actually the same value as uh, Mark of the Versatile, because this one will also scale but it scales at a much more awkward and slow rate. In fact, I'm not sure if it actually scales at all until you reach level like 90 or so. So until then, like this, these enchantments are like really, really bad. The ones from Legion, you should just stick to using the ones from Warlords. So that's the reason for using them. And I chose versatility here because for all classes, versatility is going to increase your damage and healing and it will decrease the damage taken. Um, if you like the other secondary stats, go for it. The one I don't recommend is Mastery because uh, Mastery has no effect until a certain level. I believe it's like 60 or 70. Could be entirely wrong there, but um, yeah. So I would definitely go with Versatility just as like a staple for everything just because it works and it's going to make that like leveling experience a little bit easier just because you're doing consistently more damage and you're consistently taking less damage. So if we take a look at the spreadsheet again, we see the shoulder enchants are a little bit different. Actually, in fact, none of them are enchantments and they are the greater crane wing inscription for intellect, the greater tiger claw inscription for agility and the greater tiger fang inscription for uh, strength. And we're going to take a look at the inscriptions now. So we'll search up tiger to get to like the tiger one for now, just to show you. And you'll see that this is currently giving three strength and one crit. And for the secret one, it's giving four, four of strength and one crit. But the reason why we're not using this one is, as you can see, it says requires inscription 600. This is a profession-specific enchantment. 
only inscription people who have reached uh, inscription level 600 can actually use this enchant. Even if you have a high level inscription um, character and you apply this inscription to that armor and then trade that armor over, you will not be able to use that armor. It makes that armor now require inscription to use. Like some engineering recipes do the exact same thing. Actually, in fact, I think all professions have some kind of recipe like this. Um, where back in the day, it was kind of part of the game where picking your uh, professions were very important to what you could do with your gear in the late game, which is no longer the case, but still. Um, so we're using the greater versions of them, uh, which are not as good when we come to the end of it, but still very good as we level up to have some enchantment in that slot. So uh, greater Tiger Fang for uh, your strength class, Tiger Claw, there we go. Tiger Claw for your um, for your agility classes and Crane Wing for your intellect. But there's also another one here called Oxhorn. Um, only really pick this one if you're going to be tanking through your entire level up process. Like even when you're doing quests, I still think picking the strength one for uh, Protection Warrior and Death Knight would probably be better. And uh, Using the agility one would probably be better for picking uh, uh, Guardian Druid and Brewmaster Monk, even when just leveling up in the open world, because that's going to be making you do more damage, which will help you level up faster. So, next enchantment we see here is Gift of Versatility again for the back, or which will be your cloak. Uh, this is also another Warlords of Draenor enchantment, so we'll take a look at them. Here. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not Gift. It is Binding. Oop, I lied. We're not in Draenor. Now we're in Draenor. It is Gift. Ha! Ah, I lied to myself. So, uh, Gift of Versatility uh, will increase your cloak by 22 of that stat, as well as giving you 2% movement speed, which is really nice. If you absolutely don't need the movement speed, but I highly recommend you take it, you can take the uh, 22 Versatility option one. It's significantly cheaper, costing only one Luminous Shard, as opposed to four Temporal Crystals and three Sorcerer's Air. But it's Draenor. You can get these uh, mats pretty easily if you try. And, I mean, you only really need a couple sets of heirlooms. Um, sometimes you only need one for each uh, gear type. But, you know, other times you have, like, these weird uh, class to, you know, what kind of enchantments you want kind of deal, where maybe you'll want, um, you know, intellect or agility on gear where heirlooms will, will change that kind of thing if it's giving a primary stat you might want to have two different versions of it so when you're playing your shaman or you're playing your hunter you're giving you know the right kind of thing so that is for the cloaks and the cloaks have the same exact idea as the neck where if you want a different secondary slot go ahead and pick that too they are just as good for, for if, you, if you think that's something you want but i just choose versatility as it's a main staple that everybody can kind of use and for the chest, it's the same across the board again. All three are Glorious Stats. Glorious Stats is a Mist of Pandaria enchantment here. Currently, it's only giving uh, increase all stats by two. Uh, and once you've hit, hit level 90, it will be giving you a grand total of, I believe, 80 points in every stat, which is pretty good. Uh, unless it could scale down again, which it might have. It might be five now. But we'll see. <laughs> we'll see when we get there. But it, it will it will be scaling with you as you level up, giving you two in each stat. It's not much, but the recipe here, as you can see, is really not that much. Mysterious Essence and Spirit Dust from Mr. Pandaria. So if you have a high-level enchanter, I recommend uh, just enchanting the chest piece with this enchantment. So back to the list again. We have another complicated one for legs. We have Greater Pearl Scent Spell Thread for Intellect, Shadow Leather Leg Armor for Agility, and Anger Hide Leg Armor for Strength. Um, the thing is, not only one profession can make these, Greater Pearl Scent Spell Thread is made by tailors, while Shadow Leather Leg Armor and Anger Hide Leg Armor are made by leather workers. And if we go into the game, I'm going to show you the leather working one. Uh, you just have to trust me on the Spell Thread one existing. Um, but if we go to Antique Recipes, there we go, Armor Kits. Alright, so the Anger Hide Leg Armor here um, increases your strength by four and increases your crit by two uh the iron scale on the other hand is once again this is another tank versus non-tanking one 
if you're going to be tanking a lot more and just running dungeons, which is not going to be the main focus of 7.3.5, but if you choose to do it that way, you might want to use this one instead. Uh, but I but I still recommend going with the Anger Hide if you're a Strength class, and if you're an Agility class, I'd go with the Shadow Leather Leg Armor here. Um, I, there is an equivalent recipe for the Spell Thread in, uh, in Tailoring. Uh, I think it's this equivalent rare mat for tailors with a spirit of harmony which is also an expensive mat but not too expensive i mean look they're like 280 gold right now so not too bad especially if you have a high level character right now that's another thing too i'm not sure if i mentioned this but if i didn't if i did i'll mention it again um in order to apply these enchantments you'll need a high level character to do so so this one says requires level 85 if i had this item on my level 25 rogue right now trying to apply it it would not work but if i was on my high level character i can apply the leg enchantment to the pants and then send them in the mail to my low level character and i'll be able to equip them so it's only at the moment it's only the requirement to apply the enchantment that requires a 85 so let's take a look at the next one which is rings once again all three across the board gift of versatility I'm going to show you guys again what the mats for that one is and show you that we're not going to be using uh, the Legion one, Binding of Versatility or Word of Versatility. I mean, Word of Versatility is only giving one. Binding of Versatility is giving two versatility here. Go down to Draenor, go down to the Rings, Gift of Versatility giving 11 versatility or seven based on using which one, which one you want to use. So, highly recommend going for the gifts. Not that much more mats, a little bit more expensive, but it's your character that you're going to be leveling up. You can save these heirlooms, you can, you can keep them in the bank for when, if you want to level up another character. And they are account bound, so even though you just made these enchantments on your horde character, you can actually trade these over to your alliance character if you wanted to do that kind of thing too. Uh, you can also send them to different realms, uh, different servers. So, very, very awesome indeed for these enchantments on your heirloom gear. You know, there's no downside to wanting to enchant these gear pieces for leveling. And for melee, there's a bunch of different options here. Um, a lot of people will recommend to use the Vista Pandaria enchantments here um, because the one called Jade Spirit is very, very good indeed, but uh, it will not scale past level 90. Whereas uh, this enchantment that I've chosen, Mark of Shadow Moon, will scale past level 90 all the way to 100. So Mark of Shadow Moon is a simple one. Sometimes increases your versatility by 29 for 15 seconds. There's also a, the Black Rock version. I'm not sure why this is an enchantment. Uh, this one might proc more often. And in the event that that one does, you can go with that. But uh, this guy here is increasing it by 29. So I'm probably going to go with this one. Uh, well, this guy probably scales. I mean, this, this guy might scale up a little bit higher. Don't know. Find out. I did a little bit of research on it, and I think Mark of the Shadow Moon is probably your best bet for this slot. Um, and if you look at the other enchantments here, they do have pretty high resource costs, but they do give you different stats. So if you do value another secondary stat more, go for it. Go for the crit one. Go for the haste one, because they, are, they have some pretty good buffs as well. Um, but I just don't recommend going for the Mr. Pandaria one because of the... Uh, not, not necessarily the scaling is bad on these, but the scaling is not going to happen, you know, that past 90. So, once again, uh, this guy here, Mark of the Shadow, for, for melee. Uh, and this includes staves, pole arms. This includes staves for uh, casters as well. So, shield. Uh, shield kind of varies here. So um, for intellect people, I chose major intellect. And for agility, I chose greater parry or ghost iron shield spike. And for strength, same thing. Now, this is an important distinction here because you should not be using, uh, like, kind of, I don't think you should be using ghost iron shield spike for an intellect shield bearer. And I think the only people who are really going to be using shields if they're intellect are maybe shaman. Um, as well as perhaps priest. I don't even remember, I don't remember if I could use shields or not. Probably not. Um, but even Stell, if you're an intellect class, I think it's better to get your primary stat because once again, you're gonna be doing more damage. And greater parry, I think, is even like won't even give you as much in that stat. So we'll go over to enchanting. Show you guys shield and chance here. Greater parry is currently giving three to a shield, and major intellect is giving six intellect to your shield item, which is nice. 
And if you notice, if you go to offhands, uh, this is also works with offhands as well. And there aren't any uh, non-intellect classes that use offhands, so these two are NA, but for you know your for your intellect classes, you have major intellect to go onto your offhand. For greater parry is if you're a tank or you're using a shield for some reason. I don't know why you would, but sure, if you are, go ahead and use greater parry. And if you don't want to use greater parry, you can go to blacksmithing and use the ghost iron shield spike here, which is just 12 ghost iron bars, and it causes you to deal damage when people when you block with it, uh, which is kind of cool. But you might notice that it says here, attaching a ghost iron spike to your shield causes it to become soul bound. This is not true. It is, is true for um, all uh, items that are not heirlooms, but heirlooms will not become soul bound. They will still be account bound. So you can trade them between your characters still. And the last guy we have here is the ranged one, which really has only one option here. It's kind of expensive and it's kind of funny. Uh, but if you're playing a hunter, which at the moment, they're really the only people to use ranged. Um, you will be using Lord Blastington's scope, which is in here. Just type in Lord. There we go. Lord Blastington's scope of doom, which is another scope, uh, which effect, which effect causes it to become soulbound. Uh, I did verify that this will not make your, make the, uh, the gun soulbound. I used a lower level scope that says the same kind of deal, increases agility by X, and then make make a soulbound. We put it to the gun. Did not make a soul bound. That's how I checked that kind of thing. Uh, different chance might work differently, but I'm pretty sure that's probably the same across the board just for heirlooms. Um, just please correct me if I'm wrong in the, in the comments below. If one of these uh, enchantments has a problem. Uh, but this one will uh, sometimes increase agility by 25 for 10 seconds, which is awesome if you are an agility class. And 25 agility at this level is huge. I think that, that agility scales up pretty high too as you level up, so... This is truly a cool enchantment indeed for your ranged uh, hunter. And that is all the enchantments. Uh, all the other slots don't have enchantments, or they do have enchantments, but they're not heirlooms. So um, those uh, gear, gear pieces will be getting replaced very quickly as you level up. So I figured just to ignore those ones. Uh, there are no enchantments that boost experience. So forget that kind of stuff with heirlooms. It doesn't happen. Um, so this is all, yeah. Uh, I'm going to leave the screen up. So you guys take a look at it, come back to this video if you need a reminder of what enchantments are best for you. Um, a lot, pretty much all of these can be sold in the auction house. So if you don't have a high level enchanter, inscription, tailor, leather worker, blacksmith, you know, you can, you know, always, you know, browse the auction house to try to find them. Uh, the, the Draenor enchantments usually go pretty cheap, uh, but the odd ones off like the shoulders and the legs they tend to go a little bit more expensive as well as like the shield offhand one probably go for a little bit and mark shadow moon might go for a little bit more Lord of blastington scope of doom i didn't even see that one on there so they are what they are expect to pay more for those odds odd off enchantments that not a lot of people are making right now so that's all for this video i hope it helped you guys out uh, if it did make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're new uh, I'll try to make more World of Warcraft videos in the future if you like them. Uh, this is currently not the kind of stuff I make on my channel usually. So if you guys like it, you know, make sure to give some support. If you didn't like the video, I don't know, you could dislike it if you don't like it. Anyway, <laughs> I'll stop talking now. Uh, and anyway, this is Heen, signing out.